morph. Hmm. So to get this, we want to do is go to the map room. All you got to do is bump into this and then go to week six. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh, nope, six. Here we go. Go to week six and head over to the right side of this building, okay? Now, you could try to go up the building. That is the hard way, but this is the pro way. Look at that. Beautiful. And look, it's Mucky. It's Christmas. Ouch. Get hit by a train. Let's go ahead to the week three. Week three. One, two, three. It's easy as A, B, C. One, two, three. A, B, C. I'm going to get hit by a train. Oh, I missed it. Oh, I missed my two o'clock. Guess I'll wait for my three o'clock then. <laughs> Just gotta wait for the train. Except my fate that I will become a marshmallow pancake. There we go. And voila. The trick. Press the severed head to get the badge. Alright, so we're gonna be going back to week three like so. And I gotta say, I love the new lobby. It's amazing. So going back to week three. But do not get hit by Tren, okay? Tren will not be very nice for this badge. So here we go. Oh, snicky, snicky. Over here on the left side, on the right side of the tunnel, go into this hole right here. Go down the ladder. There's going to be a key. Click on that key. Boom. And now it is in your inventory. Now you can reset if you want. I'm not going to. I'm going to go ahead. And go across. Ooh, I thought the train was going to get me there for sure. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm dying. We're going to go back to the lobby or to the map area. And then we will go to the, uh, the, the witty map. So wait, hold on. Where is it? There it is. Witty. And once you do that, we're going to go over here. To this door. Sorry, I had like a brain fart moment. Now, you have the key already in your inventory, okay? It's like part of your actual like inventory. Then click on the head there and you will get the trick. The self-aware. Haha, <laughs> funny doki doki girl that is aware, lol. Alright, so to get this badge, what you want to do is go ahead over into the maps and go to the witty map. Boom. Once you do that, head over here to the dumpsters. Where you will find a key, a beautiful key, right there. Click on the key, and it'll be in your inventory. I already have it because um, <laughs> I like to have my keys ready. Go back to the lobby, and we're not going to another map, okay? So go back to the lobby, like so. And once you do that, we're going to go diagonal over here, down this road. And you kind of see that there's a open area. That open area is going to have a laptop in it, okay? What you're going to do then is click on the laptop and be teleported to this obby. Super easy obby, so you should be able to do it. Last time I was here, I struggled. I don't know why. Walk in here, click on the red screen, and then it's going to teleport you to a whole little cutscene with Monica. Yes, she's mm, beautiful, but very very dangerous and then after a while you would then get the badge so there you go the betrayer all right so to get this badge let's go over here into the map room and don't get confused because there's actually technically two sarvante maps all right or churches there's this one and this one you want to go to this sarvante map boom the one that actually looks like a church inside and then head over to this left side of the pillar and then you can kind of see there's something strange here. Go through this wall and then head forward. And there's going to be a little mini obby. Go ahead and jump up. This one might be a little trickier than all the rest. However, it shouldn't be too hard for you. For all mobile users, uh, console players, or PC players, it should not be too hard. And if you fall, you can then easily, you know, um, try again. There's no no harm in try try and try again You know if you fail you get back up and you complete that obby right over there click on the wanted poster and there you go the scarecrow 
All right, so to get this badge, we want to do is head over into the maps and then go to week one. Okay, this one's got a multiple steps. So here we go. Head over this way and go to this door to your left. All right, go right through it. Take a left and go ahead and complete this obby. This one might be a little difficult, but it, again, these obbies are not too hard to complete. Woo, almost messed up there. Boom. Click on the key, you can actually commit Skittle Sudoku and then be sent back to the lobby. Boom. Now, once you're back here, go back into the maps, okay? And go to Zardi's Maze. So that is going to be right over here. Boom. Go to Zardi's Maze. Turn around this way. And there's going to be a pumpkin right there. Over there by the corn. Go ahead. And click on the pumpkin. And there you go. You will get yourself the badge. The fangirl? Lol. And to get this, if you're starting right here in the lobby, go over to this side to the right. Right past special morphs. And there's going to be a passcode. Now, this passcode is different for every server, okay? So, here we go. Mine is 43, 67, and 1. Okay. Again. This is different for every server, okay? So it's the same for everybody in the server, but it's different uh, if you go to another one. So here we go. Go down this way once you have your code. Then go to the left and head all the way over here. And you can kind of see there's already a person standing over there. You're going to be entering the code right there. So here we go. Right over this way. Enter it. You have to go and put it in. So mine is 43671. And then you have, to, you have to click enter. You will enter into this white void that I like to call a nightmare. And you'll get the badge. Why? And honestly, I don't know why. To get started, head over this way to where you see this garage door open. Jump on this. Jump on top of the AC unit or the air conditioning. And you're going to have to do a little parkour, all right? Now, I'm not the perfect one for this. So, you know, to you, it might be very easy. There we go. Okay. Now, once you're up here, we want to do is head over this way and go down to these signs. Jump down here. Do not worry about the train. I am invincible. <laughs> no, you'll be fine. What we want to do is go right here and jump down to here. Don't fall down here, okay? Or then you have to do all that again. But right here, these, these are a little easier, sort of. You just got to, like, jump up to that side and then do the same right there. Boom, drop down, and right here you're going to see the WhatsApp car. Click or hold E to interact or interact with however you do it on your phone or tablet, and you will get the badge. The bad boy, also known as a joke. I'm a joke. <laughs> I'm so funny, that's why I'm a joke. Anyways, so to get this badge, we want to do is go to the Sarvante Church, which is going to be right here. So this is the map right there. Go ahead, enter it, and walk forward down the alleyway, or the alleyway, the aisle. Go to the left side here, and we're going to go through this wall. Now, we've done this before. Instead of going to the left and doing that obby, we are going to go to the right over here and walk down this way. This is not a maze. It is going to be another obby. There's going to be a little bit of ladder um, parkour. And then a simple platform jumping parkour, all right? And it's really easy. There's really no difficulty to this at all. Unless you're me and, you know, you, you oof. Then, yeah, then obviously you might have troubles. But click E or whatever you're on, tablet, phone, and you'll easily get the badge. Mummy! Mummy PNG! Monkey! So, what you want to do is go back to the maps room. And we're going to be going to week five, the one with the Christmas tree on it. I don't know why it says week six, um, but anyways, here we go. Once you're in the mall map, go ahead to your left immediately up the escalators and then go to the lol store. Once you're in the lol store, hug the left side wall. You will go through it and there's going to be a mummy. And then we're going to step on it. You will then get the badge and the morph all at the same time. Christmas! The introvert dude. 
Yes. All right, so to get this badge, we want to do is go over this way and then down this road to the right and go to the very end. There's going to be a door there. All you got to do then is simply go ahead, enter, go forward. There's going to be a TV right there, and you guessed it. We're going to watch some TV and be introverts and not talk to anybody else and just hang out here and get badges. The whole circus. Lol. Alright, so before we get started, what you need is the tricky badge, and also, if you go up to this cog wheel near the, um, player list, you can change your walking speed to 40, click enter, and then close it, and now you'll be walking faster, you need this for later. Anyways, go to the maps, like so, and head over here to the Nevada map with Squidward's face. Once you do that, head over this way, and we're gonna be going to this building in the distance this gray building is suspicious it's mysterious it's ominous now again you need the tricky badge if you don't have the tricky badge go to my video down in the description below and get it now once you're here at the door go ahead interact with it and then you can now open all these doors Just keep going keep going then go up this ramp keep going to the very end until you see the computer yes Go ahead, use it, click on secret, and then you're going to have these scrambled letters. This will be different for all of you, okay? You might get the same letters as me, but some of you may not. But these letters spell out a Madness Combat character, alright? So for me, I... let's see, I'm going to have to think about this one for a little bit. Alright, I figured it out. Mine is Auditor! Accepted you have now the access find the passage so once you do that go ahead and Reset again. It will be different for all of you. You might get the same character, but you don't I don't you you know You don't know now once you're done go ahead over to the street that has the garage Here it is right over there. This is where you want to go you remember when we had to go up those AC units Yeah, we don't have to over here though go to this red door bump into it and then it will teleport you to this map again though make sure you click on this cog wheel and change it to 40 it will help you tremendously get up to the top you have to jump on these rocks here and you do have super jump now the reason why the speed helps is because it allows you to move forward farther when you're on the rocks all right here we go and there's no right way or correct way of doing this. It's just, you know, just get to the top, okay? Just get to the top. And there it is. There's that what we're looking for. I don't know if I can do it from here. Oh, no! Oh, no. I guess there is a wrong and right way of doing it. This is the rock you want to get to. And then get to the top. Like so. And boom. You go see a gun there. Go ahead. Click on it, and this is going to be like a little cutscene. It's going to be... Oh, oh no. Tricky has been tricked. The whole circus is dead. Showtime gives you access to two badge morphs. Alright, so to get this badge, go ahead into the maps room. You may have noticed my avatar looks different. I'm going to be changing it in a couple of days. Over here, though, go to music festival. And once you do that, head over to this hot dog stand. Or I like to call it the glizzy stand. Get your finest hot dogs in Friday Night Funk. But over here, all you gotta do is click E or hold it down. And you will then get Showtime Badge. A Patchcoast Siskla. The Naughty Boulder, a.k.a. It's Cheeky. Alright, so to get this badge, what you wanna do is go to Maps and go up to the second floor right here and go to this map week seven go ahead and teleport once you're here turn to your right go to this door over here on the right and then hold e teleport to maze yes please all right so you're gonna be teleported to this maze i do suggest using your light right there so on uh, your hot bar now once you're here we want to do is walk forward let me make sure my notes are correct so yeah go forward there aren't any secret turns yet just kidding maybe i don't know make sure you follow along and watch the full video 
No cutting corners. Now, once you're here, go forward and take this left turn. So the second left. Then keep going forward. There are some parts where you just keep walking for a while. However, if you follow along correctly, all that will be worth it. You will then be legendary. Now, passing this right turn, keep going forward, all right? Then going around this corner, and then boom, right there, interact. It will start to glow, and you will get the Bachko Sistola badge <laughs> versus Sunday. All right, so to get this, go ahead into the maps, and then go upstairs to the second floor, and go to Sunday's map. Once you do that, head over here and go to the door that is open and you're going to see Sunday there. Go ahead and click on her and start talking to her. She's then going to ask you to find her a new guitar. Now go ahead, once you finally finish talking to her, you will then get the quest, get Sunday a new guitar. So go ahead, exit the building and head back downstairs. And we're going to be going to week, uh, let me double check, week five. Okay, we want to go to the Christmas one. Once you're at week five, go over here to the left up these stairs or escalators. And in the LMAO store is going to be a guitar. Click on it, and then you'll get guitar in your inventory. Then head back down to the map room. Go back to Sunday's map. Here we go. And all you have to do is go over to this table and place the guitar and you would then get the Versus Sunday badge. You're a rock star now. Garcello. Tight bars, little man. I'm not little. You're just big. Anyways, go to the map. <laughs> and then head upstairs this way and go to the Garcello map. It says week seven, but this is the Garcello map. Once you do that, head all the way over here. To this door right here enter it and at the end of this very uh, very white room you will see ghost McDonald's go ahead click on it and there you go literally every badge more run all right so to get this badge we want to do is look over here at main morse then go to the left side then to the right here there's gonna be this door teleport to Bob's super secret place yes please all right, so it's going to teleport you to this location. It is only you in this server. Go ahead, walk over here. Get badge, interact. Hi. Uh, hi there. Welcome to the my... Wait, welcome to the my super secret... What? <laughs> to get the badge, you must press the button in front of you. Okay. I'm pressing it. LOL. I hate you. Okay, leave now. I gave you the badge. No, you didn't. You didn't give me the badge. JK, don't. Why not? <laughs> Anyways, here's the actual challenge. What's the challenge? Look behind you. <gasps> An obby! Oh, no, bro. Oh, why? Why obbies? <gasps> why you do this to me, Bob? It's actually not that hard. It's really easy. And I say that as I'm probably going to fail at some point maybe in this. Who knows? I am not a epic obby master. I'm a badge master. There we go. Click on that. Wow, you did it! Thank you. Thank you, Bob. I, I know. I'm very... I was expecting you to rage quit and complain in the group about how hard getting badges are. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Anyways, here's your badge. I think that was a call-out. Deleted. Question mark? All right, so to get this badge, also known as Etaled, what you want to do is go ahead into the map room. Head upstairs. And then go to the Garcello Rest in Peace one. It says week 7. Don't worry, though. Once you're here, go forward. And where you see that Bob person at, there's going to be a pile of trash. Hold down E on your screen, your tablet, or press E. It Just do what you need to do to get the coin. Once you've got the coin, head back to the map room, okay? So, boom. Once you're back here, go to versus Happy Map. And then, go to this arcade right here, the one by this pink one. Go ahead and interact with it, and then give it a couple of seconds. A face will appear of Etelid. That, that's terrifying. It will then teleport you to the Mii Plaza. 
Wow, isn't that exciting? Not really. It's probably very terrifying if you went to the Mii Plaza. All right, once you're in it, you're going to see a door. There's nothing around you. Go forward. You can't zoom out. You can't sprint. Just simply walk forward to this door. Looks like a door, right? However, click E. It is not the door. It was a imposter. Turn around. That's the door you want to go to. If you turned around earlier, there is no door. This has to be activated by that door that just fell over. So here we go. Enter. It will then teleport you into this room. Go forward once. Look to your left by the bed and get a key. Then head all the way this way to the end of, I guess this is a hospital? This is where all the, the me uh, people go. And press enter. It will then teleport you into a maze. All right. So make sure you follow along. Go ahead, start the maze by going this way, then going to your right, and then follow along this pathway like so. Keep going, keep going. Now we need to get a key before we can exit the maze. So right here, take a left, then take a right, and follow this pathway like so. Then take a left turn, then take a right, keep going, and there's the key. Click E. It may not disappear, and it'll tell you to get it again. You already have it. You can click it a couple times. You can hold it for a long time just to be sure. But once you have the key, go back the same way. So left, and then right, and then keep going, and then right here. So this is where we went to get the key. Now we got to go to the door. Go forward now, and then take a right turn like so. Take the left, second left, sorry. And you're going to see a green doorway right there. Click E. It will then go to white. You will then get the deleted badge. And that's it. We've been deleted. Endless fun. Also, my name is Digi. Hello. So to get this badge, go ahead into maps. Then head upstairs to the second set of maps. Go to the Cappy Arcade map. Once you're here, go to this arcade right here. The dark blue one. Interact with it. And you're going to see PCM number zero. You want to click on that or tap it on your screen to 12 and then to DA number 0. Set that all the way to 26. All right. And boom. Hold on. Enter. 26. Enter. Maybe it's not 26. Maybe it's 25. When I did it, it, it was like a little finicky. 25. Oh, there we go. It's 25, not 26. Gotta keep you on your toes. Green crewmate. Funny Among Us. La 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 la. Ha 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 ha. XD, 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 XD. Did the badge break? <laughs> Anyways, to get this badge, go into maps. And once you do, head up the stairs, or the ramp, I should say, and go to the nonsense map. Once you do that, you're going to see a sussy trash can. Go ahead, click it, and then you will have to do this obby. It's like a to uh, the Tower of Heck. Isn't that great? It ain't too difficult, but, you know, if you're me, you'll probably find a way. Oh, I almost, there you go. See, you'll probably find a way to mess up. But don't worry if you fall. Oh, look, Among Us, click this for free badge. Don't do it. It's sussy. Don't do the sussiness, okay? Keep going to the very top, and this is the real Among Guys badge. Click it, and you'll obviously get the badge. Accelerant Hank. Guy who looks like Blender. I guess he does. I don't know. Anyways, to get this, we're going to do a couple things. First, go ahead over here to the Squidward map, a.k.a. Nevada map. Once you're here, if you're looking at the doorway, go this way to the building over here, okay? Now, what we have to do is collect a specific item and then take that to another map. So, to get this item, once again, go over here into this building. We're going to go into this doorway right over here. And I believe you cannot reset once you get this item. So once you get the item we are going for, you have to walk back to the um, Nevada portal that we came through. So here we go. Once you're here, click on that. Blender acquired. Then we have to go all the way back this way to the, um, uh, what I guess you call it the map room. You know, where all the maps are. 
uh, in the lobby, the spawn area. But here we go. Go back to the portal that we came from. It is a bit of a walking, you know, badge. But hey, it's totally worth it. It's Accelerant Hank. And I gotta say, probably out of all the Hanks, he looks like the coolest one. Because I like his old knife spinning animation. That one's really cool. Anyways, once you're here, you go on go to this map. Music Festival. Once you're there, go ahead to the back side of the stage. And you are going to see this character. Click on him. And then you will get the badge, Mr. Beast Team Seas. Go donate right now and help us remove 30 million pounds of trash from the ocean before the end of the year. And this is actually a real thing. If you guys don't know Mr. Beast, I suggest you uh, catch up on the YouTube world. But to get this badge, what you want to do is head here and go to Mr. Beast Beach. Teleport there. And once you do, you're going to see a building here to your right. Go to the back side of it. And you're going to see Team C's logo. Go ahead, click on it or tap on your screen, whatever you're on, and you'll be getting the Team C's badge. Huggy Wuggy. All right, so to get Huggy Wuggy, what you're going to want to do is collect five tapes from different parts of the maps, okay? So the first one is going to be up here in the second floor. First map is going to be Street. Once you're here, go forward towards the bench, and then over here is a Poke Center. Right there on the ground is your first tape. Now, next one, you gotta go back to the map. So, where is my teleporter? It should be right over here. Okay, next map is going to be at the, uh, where is it? There it is. Bob and Bossip map. Once you're there, go down the sidewalk over this way, and then go around the corner, and there's going to be a blue tape. There we go. Head back to the teleporter. The reason why you want to walk back is because if you reset, you potentially will lose those tapes, you know, the data. Now, the next one is going to be in Cappy's Arcade, right here, right next to that map we just came from. Once you're here, go ahead, turn around. Head over this way towards the prize corner. Go through the door. Enter. And you're going to see the green tape. Ta-da. Now let's head back to the teleporter to our next map. So right now, we have three maps. The next one is going to be in week two. So that's going to be downstairs right over here. Right there. Week two. Once you're in week two, go over here to the stairs. And there's going to be your yellow tape. Now, once you've got that, let's go back this way to the next map, which is going to be the Sarvante map. And it's right here, Sarvante's Church. Once you're here, you're going to go forward. And then right here by the pillar, you're going to go through this wall. It's one of these right here. This is the wall you're going through. And then once you're in there, go to your left, jump up. And then drop down because the next tape is right there. And then you will get the Huggy Wuggy badge. The Lullaby mod by Ban Buds. Now this one's gonna be a little tricky, not because it's hard, but it's hard to see. You'll you'll understand a bit. So once you're ready to go, go upstairs to the where's the the streets map. There it is. Streets. Once you're here, we're gonna do them is go to your right okay and you're gonna look over here to where you see this broke this break in the trees go there and you'll see a door it's gonna teleport you you want to go inside the door yes please and then you know give it a couple seconds it'll then teleport you to the cartridge man map now once you're here you're gonna want to turn around until you can see the um chat box now if you can't see it from here just make sure you turn your camera until you see your face and then walk this way, okay? All right, so just keep walking. You do not have sprint here, okay? So you just gotta walk, you know, slowly, carefully. That's it. <laughs> you just gotta walk here and you go ahead and talk to this man. You have to talk, okay? There's no, you know, skipping it. You have to talk to this person. Now you just keep talking until they tell you to go and get the purple console so they'll close it and then you're like wait click on that again and you just keep on talking to them until they pretty much give in to giving you 
the badge. Fine, so can you can't give me the badge. I'll give you the badge if you find my purple console. Okay, cool. Now bugger off. Now once that happens, you're gonna wanna go to the back side of it like this, and you're gonna see this thing right here. Now, what you're gonna do then is turn around and walk forward. Okay, so you're gonna keep walking forward until you see an obby. So you just gotta keep going a little bit. It is this is why it's the hard part because you can't see where you are going. Okay, you, you can't see anything. There it is. Now you're gonna get to this right here. So you're gonna be going through a wall. I, I don't know how else to explain it. It th this is as best as I can show you. So you're gonna do this obby actually. So you, you don't want to, to fall. No falling in this obby, okay? All right, get to here, go ahead and walk on through this. And then you're gonna click on or click E or tap it on your screen and head back. So make sure you don't fall when you come back through this. There we go. Ugh, woo! That was a spicy one. And then go back down through the wall again. And then, so once you're through, you're just gonna walk back this way. Again, it this is as best as I can explain it to you guys without it, you know it, it, it it's it's very confusing, I know. So there's the um the obby and there is oh wow, I was going the wrong way actually. <laughs> wow! I'm big old dummy. Okay, so head back to where you started from, okay? And um it may not look like I'm moving, but I'm moving. I'm going forward. We're getting there very slowly. And then once you get there, you're going to go back to the front side. So go to the front until you see the door. Click on that. And he's going to be like, finally, now here's your reward you've been asking for. And then you get the lullaby, lullaby badge. 